Hey everyone, so yesterday I deep dived into why it was uh, so important to get a pre-approval in San Francisco in the Bay Area when you are home buying. And I chatted about the different way, the different types of pre-approvals that there are. And today I wanted to go into how to act in an open house and uh, how to look for properties in the city because it is not so clear cut and it can be different from other places in the country. So, pretty much anywhere else in the US, when you're looking at properties, a lot of people try to keep their cards close to their chest. It's a very common misconception, especially if you're watching HGTV or other real estate shows. Um, you want to, you're, you're going through the property and you're check, you know, you're keeping yourself less excited so that when you go to negotiate later, the, li the listing agent and the seller don't really know where you stand on the property. But that is, a, that is a total 180 from what you should be doing in the city. Here in the city, uh, the listing agent is checking out you and taking notes on how you act in the open house because they want to know who is most excited for the property. Right now being a little bit of a caveat of a difference, of a difference because of everything that's going on, um, you know, there is more negotiating that's able to be able to happen. But in general, when it's a seller's market, when there's going to be multiple offers on a property and it's competitive, you are using the open house as an opportunity to tell the listing agent a bit more about yourself um, and to show your excitement for the property so that when it comes to being competitive on an offer, you can stand out from the crowd. When I talk to uh, the, the buyers that I work with, I go deep into how to make yourself competitive. And that goes from to the price of the, pro the price of the offer, the terms that you put into the offer, but also it goes into how you act in the open house. So for example, on arrival to the open house, you should be pleasant to the listing agent, you know, shake their hand, be, you know, ask good questions, be mem memorable in a good way. You want to be the single person or the couple, the family that was super excited for that property. So, and later on when we put together the offer, we help with putting together a buyer, a buyer cover letter so that when there are two, three, five offers on the table and they're looking and comparing them, all else being equal, you want to be that couple that made yourself or that person that made yourself stand out from the bunch. So, um, you know, letting them know, you know, ask some of the good questions that you can ask a listing agent is, you know, who are the sellers? Why are they moving? Those are pretty common ones, but also what were their hobbies? How do they live in the property? Um, so if it was a family, you know, where did they, you know, how do they use each room? Um, what updates did the owners do? You're just really trying to press the listing agent so that, you know, to, to continue the conversation, to let them open up to you. And then you can also use all that information later in a cover letter. So if you knew that the sellers, you know, completely redid the garden or updated the kitchen because they love to cook and you also love to cook, then put that in your cover letter so you can start trying to create those connections so when it comes to the offer, you can tug at the heartstrings of the seller. What I tell my clients is that a cover letter will very rarely get you a discount on the, prop, on the offer price. Um, however, what the cover letter really does is helpful for is getting you a second look. So if two offers are, sim, two offers are on the table and one of them, the seller really loves the couple or the, person, or the family, the person that put in the offer, if the other person came in with no cover letter and the listing agent has very little knowledge of who that, per that person was, then oftentimes they'll go back to that first couple and ask them to you know, see if they can match that higher offer um, or only counter that one offer rather than do a multi-counter or bidding war. So that's really where you want to position yourself and why it's so important to, be, to, stand, to me make yourself memorable in a good way with that listing agent and with the seller. And you do that through your interaction with them and through your cover letter. Um, when you're viewing the property, it's, you know, it's perfectly okay to have your negative thoughts about it or talking about what you want to do in the property, but just try to put a better light on it. So instead of saying this kitchen is crap, everything needs to be redone, just talk about how excited you are to put your, put your touches on it to make it your own. So just really go in there thinking about being positive and memorable in a good way. Um, if you guys have any questions or, you know, want examples of cover letters, we have those. We can send those along to help you in um, prepping yourself for home buying in the future.
Thanks so much and uh, stay, stay healthy and safe out there.